Cardiothoracic surgery allowed me the, the opportunity to, to make an impact on, on people's lives when they had some very serious health problems going on. It can be helped in most cases, and it can be helped very well. And it's a, in most cases, major surgery. Most cases, recovery could take some time, but, but we felt like we were making an impact in people's lives with this type of surgery. There have been a lot of changes in our specialty over the, the last several years. And our specialty is pretty well known for surgery and doing certain types of surgery. And it's usually fairly major surgeries. But now, over the last few years, we're starting to gear towards minimally invasive surgeries, less invasive surgeries, better ways to help people with less risks involved with the surgery. And all of that is evolving. And there are some new technology that's out there right now and expected within the next few years that really should make an impact. And what I like about this hospital is that we're, we're looking into these technologies in a smart way. We're looking into develop them, developing them into our practice whenever it makes sense, whenever it looks like something can make a big impact and help people in our community. This hospital is very serious about working with us to make that happen. One of the areas is uh, open heart surgery in terms of valve surgery. We're starting to look into newer ways that heart valves are, are replaced in people without surgical incisions like we used to have in the past with catheters and that type of thing. And that's gonna represent a, a major change over the next few years in how we do things and we are gearing along those lines. The next thing is lung cancer screening. Um, we've never had a good way to check for lung cancer in the past, and that's one of the most important or one of the most common cancers that we see. Uh, we screen for other types of cancers, mammograms, uh, colonoscopies, that kind of thing, but we've never had a good way to screen for that, and now we just started a, uh, a program where we're getting into screening people for lung cancer, and then hopefully that makes a big impact in, in terms of uh, helping people. It does not take one person to, to get good outcomes and make patients better. It takes a team approach, and it will not happen without everyone doing their job and doing it well, and I've seen that on the end of a. Uh, uh, of uh, patients, I've seen that on the end of family uh, taken care of here, I've seen that on the end of my patients that are taken care of, and it, it really takes a whole team approach. And one person can't do it alone. It's, it really is a, a whole team that uh, drives the good results.